Welcome Scorpio. This is Renee and welcome back. We're going to take a look at your May 2023 reading, see what's going on for Scorpio, what's going to be happening in May. So we're going to go ahead and get your love reading. We're going to take a look at the money. We're going to see what's challenging you this month and get some advice. And then we will go ahead and get an oracle card. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read the extended meaning of the oracle card at the end. So feel free to stick around to the end where I also will pull you an angel number. Okay, and get your affirmation. So the month of May, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You know, there may be a lot of passion for you. A lot of passion is coming for you in May. Okay, so there may be someone new I'm getting if you're open to new love. Or this could be a, a, a continuing relationship that's just increasing with passionate energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your money oracle. Okay, and all these wanted to come out. So, we have expect a powerful change. So I feel like you're going through changes in the month of May. There's things that are changing for you. We also have Gemini energy with communication is key. So being able to communicate your needs, your wants, your expectations is going to be very beneficial for you in the month of May. Okay, being open and receptive to the powerful change that's before you. Okay, so you're definitely going to be going through some kind of changes. So let's go ahead and get an angel card for Libra. We have, you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So I feel like there's going to be a need for you to trust spirit, to trust the universe is leading you into the right direction. Okay, so trust and follow in the month of May. So let's go ahead and get your fortune oracle. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Luck, the number 19. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. The four leaf clover. There's luck on your side this month, Scorpio. So this is going to be a very beautiful month for you. Right? So let's go ahead and take a look at your love reading. So we'll take a look at love first. What's going on for Scorpio's love life in the month of May? What's going on in Scorpio's love life in the month of May? What's going to make Scorpio more passionate this month? You know, what is this passion about? Give me a message for Scorpio. The moon. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more for Scorpio, please. More messages for Scorpio's love life. Okay, we have the three of wands. Expanding, growing, changing. Ooh, okay, building. There we go. I like seeing that in a love reading. Building. We have the strength card and we have the world. Oh, wait a minute. We have the world and the queen of wands. Oh, there's that passion. There's that passion, my beautiful Scorpio. Okay, at the bottom we have the page of swords. So I feel like people are finding you very curious. People are finding you very appealing at this time. They may have a lot of questions, you know, but there's someone who may be spying on you. Someone's checking you out from a, a distance. You know, someone's really looking into you. You're turning heads, Scorpio, because I feel like you're putting in a lot of time and energy on yourself, right? You could be changing things about yourself, maybe changing your dress, changing your hair, changing your look. You know, but I feel like you're putting a lot of time and effort into the way you see yourself and the way you feel about yourself, right? 
Um, so we have the Three of Wands energy. This is actually growing and expanding. So something is growing. Something is being nurtured in this situation. Something is rapidly growing. And with this, with this uh, Eight of Pentacles energy, this is something being built. Right? You're building on something. You're setting your standards high. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, this is also increasing passion. Okay? And a lot of hard work. You know, so you've put a lot of hard work into something this month. You know, and I feel like it's showing. You know, you may have put in a lot of hard work at the gym or put in a lot of, you know, effort into making yourself more appealing and i feel like whatever it is that you're doing you are doing an outstanding job you know um your overall energy is the moon so i feel like this is really a time for you to set the standards high you know set your intentions and follow your intuition because i feel like whatever path that you're leading to you're on the right path you're being very strong at this time. And I feel like there's a lot of achievements that you're gaining. There's some kind of lessons that you're learning. You're ending cycles. You're beginning new cycles. But you're very beautiful and attractive at this time. The Queen of Wands energy. She's very beautiful and attractive. She's also very assertive and bold and daring and courageous. You know, she has a lot of good qualities. She's also very passionate when it comes to love. She loves very strong, you know, and I feel like that's definitely you, Scorpio, because when you love, you love very strong, right? You love with all that passion and all that fire energy, okay? Um, this Queen of Wands energy, this is also like being determined to win and there's one thing about the queen of wands she doesn't care what other people think about her she cares about the energy that she's exuding and the the powerfulness that she feels because of that energy right she doesn't care what other people think about her because her confidence is so high. Her confidence is just over the top, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at your money. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio's money in the month of May. Let's take a look at Scorpio's money. What messages do we have for Scorpio spirit? Then we'll go ahead and get into your challenge and we will clarify these cards. Look at that. The Emperor. Overall energy. Taking control. Yes. I'm loving that. This is going to be a good month for you, Scorpio. A very good month. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Excuse me. The Ten of Wands. The Knight of Swords. Okay. The Three of Swords in Reverse. And the Queen of Cups. So, the first thing I see right off, there's something being restored. There's something that, you know, maybe last month, you know, you had a lot of uh, burdens, a lot of challenges, and you were willing to put in that work. You know, you are you were putting to, um, put in that fight, that effort to get more balance when it comes to your finances because you're taking control of your situation the emperor is a natural entrepreneur you know he doesn't back down he's a person in authority so either you're a business owner you know a business owner you are connecting with the business owner but i feel like with this three of swords in reverse you're being restored something and i feel like it's leaving you in a better place than where you started right so something is being fully restored to you you're getting something back in return right something that you have lost with this page of swords energy ten of swords you know something that you've lost it may have been due to a breakup or due to some kind of divorce situation 
you know, some kind of company that ended and, you know, maybe your job ended at that time because something um, closed, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, you're putting that effort and you didn't back down. You know, you let your curiosity and your mind start moving, you know, and you gain that clarity that's causing this shakeup here for um, your finances to finally be restored and get a grip on things. And, you know, you, you have this four leaf clover here. So I feel like, yeah, something is definitely coming in balance for you. The Knight of Swords, this could be winning it at all costs. You know, you're not giving up. You're not letting down. You're in this battle to win it, right? So I feel like what you're doing is actually pushing you forward when it comes to your finances, Libra. Oh, excuse me, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your challenge. What's going on with Scorpio? Oh, the Two of Swords. Actually, I believe the Two of Wands, Two Twos. Yeah, decisions. Choices, planning, prioritizing. Um, actually, I believe Libra did get that for their challenge as well. The Two of Swords in that same place. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords, Two of Wands, and Knight of Cups. So there's going to be some kind of offer that is. Um, given to you in the month of May, some kind of offer that seems really good, right? And you're going to have a choice to make. And I feel like doing careful planning is going to be the key. You know, where we have communication as the key, careful planning is going to be the key to either accepting this offer or denying it, okay? But I feel like this is going to be a really good offer. Because I feel like Eight of Cups energy, you're leaving something behind. You're letting something go. Something is definitely being restored to you in the month of May, right? Um, and it's going to give you equal measure. This is the card of reciprocity, right? So the Six of Cups in reverse and the Six of Pentacles, yeah, this is something being well balanced. You know, it could leave you in a better position than what you started with. Because she's leaving behind the Eight of Cups. She's walking into her Nine of Cups energy, right? So this could be leaving you in a better position than what you started with, right? That's that luck happening again, okay? So that is your challenge. My lovely Scorpio. I'm going to remove these cards and then I'm going to go ahead and clarify the rest. Okay. So, Spirit. Oh. Let's get this one. Okay. Spirit, give me a message for the Three of Wands energy and the Eight of Pentacles. Give me a message for the Three of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. There's that offer coming in again. So you could have some kind of love offer coming in. It could be a soulmate energy. And we have the four of pentacles. So this could be something that you're keeping secret. Something that's... Something that... Is bringing in more security. You know, the Four of Pentacles is always also something that can end up being long-term. You know, this is long-term security. This is building on wealth. So if this is a love offer that's coming in in May, my beautiful Scorpio, this could be a, a love offer that actually could lead to marriage or some kind of long-term stability. We have the Hierophant here too, so it definitely could be marriage. You know, there could be a proposal here that could end up being something very long-term, right? Something that is very traditional, right? 
So give me a message. Why is the Strength card, the World card, and the Queen of Wands here? Give me a message for Scorpio. Why is the Strength, the World, and the Queen of Wands here? What messages do we have for Scorpio? The Eight of Swords in Reverse. The Two of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is going to leave. Now look at what we have on the bottom. The King of Wands. So if this is a love situation, I feel like your counterpart here, you know, the King of Wands, I feel like he's very attractive. He's very bold and daring. Um, I'm saying he because that's who was in the card. He's a he, right? Um, but this is great passion. And it's very interesting he's on the bottom. Because um, he's very passionate. He's very daring. He's very bold. He's also very assertive. Um, and for some of you, not all of you, okay? So don't yell at me. Not all of you. But the King of Wands, sometimes he could be a player, right? Um, and I feel like with this Eight of Swords energy in reverse, I feel like... You're trying to gain a new perspective about a situation, right? But this is also the feeling of freedom, being able to plan, having this happy ending. So you could be planning a beautiful happy ending, right? Something that makes you feel free and loved and, you know, fully adored with this uh, King of Wands energy. The King of Wands, he's also a passionate lover. You know, he's also very sexual and assertive, okay? So I feel like, oh, may, may, <laughs> may, may be very interesting for you, right? So let's go ahead and move these up and we will clarify your money situation, okay? Spirit, give me a message for the Nine of Wands and the, the uh, Knight of Swords. Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords, please. It's too many cards. Give me a message. What does Scorpio need to know for the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords? Okay. The Nine of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Cups in reverse. And the High Priestess. Okay, so the Nine of Swords in reverse, this energy is actually um, having a lot of hope in your situation, right? You may be getting help for a uh, certain situation. Someone is giving, you know, someone is being generous. Like I said, with this Three of Swords energy, I feel like this is a recovery. You're making a recovery here, okay? There's something that you felt an emotional loss about, you know, there's something that was blocked for you at this time, right? There was something that was blocked for you. You could be overcoming strong obstacles from the past month, you know, and you're going into May with still having this energy linger around you. But overall, you're hopeful, you know, that things are going to work out, even though they may look dire, like, you know, they may not. You're, you are taking control of your situation, right? You will have something restored back to you, okay? You just need to trust, okay? Why is the Three of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Cups here? Give me a message. The Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the death card. Yes, something's ending. Some, something in, something that conflicted you is ending now, right? The three of pentacles, this is support, collaboration, you know, building something. And maybe you had money invested in some kind of group. Or you had a lot of 
you had a lot invested in a certain company. Maybe you had a lot of time invested in a certain company and this company closed. It went under. You know, something's, something is ending for you when it comes to your finances. But it's going to open you up to this bright new beginning because you're taking control of the situation. It's going to be restored to you. There's some kind of offer coming through that is going to be even brighter, even more um, prosperous than what you had before. You know, we have the, the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Right. So I feel like, you know, with this King of Swords energy, you know, there's some kind of truth. There's some kind of discipline that's going on for you. That's opening you up to all these pinnacles. You know, the, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is, you know, you know, someone being determined. You know, you may have some kind of determination. There could also be someone that was kind of stingy and you're like setting your priorities you're not letting them take advantage of you because you have the ten of pentacles here so this is abundance you know this is you seeing the truth of the matter you know being very disciplined in your situation so i feel like whatever um obstacles that you were going through you're fully overcoming those remember you have that that four leaf clover there you know so Let's go ahead and get the meaning, the extended meaning of number 19. Number 19. So we have your fate is changing because of decisions you have made. You have set a new course and will be luckier than you have been in some time. But be decisive. That is those... Um, Two of Swords energy, you know, needing to make decisions. An opportunity to completely reverse your fortunes in personal relationships and finances is likely. There's no place for self-doubt or pessimism. Stability and strength surround the changes now by taking place as you are in charge of your circumstances. That's that Emperor energy. The key is to have faith and be optimistic. In your relationships, luck is also around. Singles could meet someone easier than in the past. Personal relationships will run a little smoother than recently and troublesome situations could be settled once and for all. Be sure to write out some positive affirmations to help the luck along. Right? Your uh, career and money. Opportunities for strong career growth will be welcomed. Money wins are not uncommon, so be in it to win it. Take a weekly lotto entry and take part in other games of chance. Have a little flutter, right? The period is very auspicious with this card selection. You also seem to be on the right path at the right time to snare that certain deal, certain job, or other opportunity. An ad in the newspaper or online, even also gossip, office gossip, uh, could lead to a career change. Money-making ideas are also likely with this card, so keep a journal handy. Your power tip, wear red as often as you can and have money prosperity shower yeah that that's a meditation have a money or prosperity shower where you let the water just run over you right light a gold candle and place it in the bathroom where you can see the flame Hop into the shower. Use luxurious oils, soaps, shampoos with every drop of water you feel yourself being caressed into a golden light of the flame. Close your eyes and visualize gold money, gold money pouring all over you. It's raining gold. 
See it, caress it, feel it. Do this as often as you want. Okay, that's your power tip. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your angel number. What do we have? My beautiful Scorpio. What is your angel number? <laughs> there we go. 11, 11. This is the most beautiful angel number. 11, 11. Intuition. Trust in yourself. Your inner whisper is working hard to let you know that it is guiding you. Listen in. What is it saying? Feel it. Where is it telling you to go next? See it. Close your eyes and allow. Trust the path that you're on. Your affirmation, my intuition speaks to me and I listen. I trust that all are happening for a purpose. Okay? My beautiful Scorpio, that is your reading. Okay, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it's not resonating with you at this time, feel free to take a look at your other placements. Um, you can also take a look at your playlist. I have that for you. Um, I'll place that in the end for you. And uh, until your next reading, my lovely Scorpio, many blessings to you. Love and light.